24 hours a day, 52 weeks a year, F-15 pilots and crews stand alert, ready to respond to any penetration of their aerial shield. When the balloon goes up, they go. It may just be an exercise, a stray aircraft, or the real thing. Any interceptor must be clearly a defender. Defenders cannot choose their opponent or when he will strike. They cannot choose the speed of their fight or the altitude or the place. They cannot choose, so they must be ready. Basically, when the horn first goes off, you're pretty much just interested in getting down to your airplane and getting started and ready to go as, as fast as you can. And after that, you maybe have a little bit of time to think about what you're going to do. Usually about two minutes after you start, you also know whether it's uh, priority one or priority two scramble. To survive and win in air combat maneuvering, you have to be able to take on any adversary. He can and will choose the terms. But the Eagle can go where it's needed, day or night, good weather or bad. This is why the U.S. Air Force assigned the F-15 to NATO's central region in Europe. Their mission is to control the skies so that other aircraft can provide the support needed to win the ground war. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, four F-15 Eagles are on air defense alert at Bitburg Air Base, Germany. They sit at the end of the runway in the Zulu Alert facility, armed and ready to fly and fight on a moment's notice to protect NATO skies. With the East German border within 15 minutes flying time, Zulu Alert at Bitburg helps protect more than 40,000 square miles of sky over southern Germany. Zulu Alert is a peacetime mission, but when the call comes to scramble, not one man knows for sure what threat he'll face. Germany's frontline defense pilots play each one for real. Within minutes, Eagles are climbing faster than any aircraft in the world to meet the aggressor. The Eagle was conceived and designed for one purpose, to be the world's best interceptor aircraft with one straightforward mission, to intercept, identify, and if necessary, destroy any hostile aircraft or missile penetrating their area of responsibility. At any altitude, at any speed, in any weather, at any time, against any foe. There is just one best fighter today, the Eagle. Maintaining aircraft on alert requires constant readiness, training, and preparation for wartime aerial combat. Under ideal conditions, it's a test of man and machine. In today's world, where the ideal is seldom achieved and complete use of each resource is imperative, maintaining the edge in air combat is not a matter of luck. It's a result of professionalism in every aspect of squadron life. From administration to avionics, from maintenance to munitions, from the flight line to the front office, it's the kind of job that requires only the best of man and machine and takes both to their limits and then beyond.
together setting new standards of performance. Mission today, Felix Goal. Our objective is to engage all targets at trends in our assigned area of responsibility. Weather. Standard uh, Washington weather right now. 20,000 scattered, 4,000 broken, 8,000 overcast. The big thing is out in the area, how it's going to affect the missions out there. And we'll move cap altitudes and cap positions in order to uh, avoid the weather out there. Desired objectives is to kill everybody out there in our airspace. I'd say, as anyone get a com gets a commit, go shoot them. If it's 30 miles or less, don't try handing it off, because what we had last night was he's out there, turn around, and another one guy come in and not, and not get the target. So if you've got the firm commit, you need to go shoot the target, be the killer, and get them and not wait for the handoff. Because in, in that confusion, we've lost a few targets. Let's concentrate on, on killing tonight. Did some good flying last night, but tonight we want to do a little more killing. To have an outstanding flying machine and deadly weaponry is a help, but pilot quality is the most important asset which can only be attained by first-class training. Having an aircraft with the ability to outfly any actual or projected fighter in the world is not enough. The F-15 pilot must be able to outfight them. To achieve such a task requires the best that both men and machines can deliver, constantly honed to razor-edge sharpness. For Eagle drivers, Maintaining that critical edge can only be accomplished by flying realistic combat training. The Eagle's weapon system gives it long-range eyes to acquire, identify, track, and fire on a hostile aircraft before it sees him. With its huge radar, the Eagle can patrol more than 100,000 square miles per hour and look up at a high-flying intruder or look down to see an aircraft attempting a ground-hugging penetration. The Eagle is armed with the latest version of the radar-guided AIM-7 Sparrow and heat-seeking AIM-9 Sidewinder missile along with a 20-millimeter cannon firing up to 6,000 rounds per minute. In Europe, where the distance to the border is short, the Eagle can climb 12 miles in less than two minutes after leaving the ground. Nothing short of a rocket will get off the line and into action as fast and when speed is required. The F-15 can deliver at more than two and one-half times the speed of sound. 